Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get some uh, more routine maintenance done on Camper Dan. We're gonna go ahead and change the fluid that's in the uh, transfer case today. Um, here I have some high mileage uh, automatic transmission fluid and some brake parts cleaner. So before we can remove the fluid, we we'll have to go ahead and get our skid plate out the way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab our 12 here. Get this guy worked out. Next, we're gonna go after this bulb here on the front. I believe this is the same size bolt. Yep. All right, so we were able to find the right size socket. It's a 14. Next, we're gonna go after this guy. This is gonna be our last bolt in the center. Oh, it's a 14 also. At this point, you want to be supporting the skid plate so it doesn't just abruptly fall and possibly hit you. There. Next, we're going to go ahead and open our fill plug first. All right, guys, so here's our fill plug. This is gonna take a half inch um, extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one now. I don't expect there to be any debris in this one, but just in case, I'm gonna bring along a flathead screwdriver. Yeah, I don't see any, any debris in that area. But before I go crazy and start tugging on it, we are going to clean this area up. It's just the right thing to do. Primarily just wanted to cleanse the immediate area surrounding the uh, fill plug. Oh, I got this. All right. Okay, so we got it broken loose. We know we can open her. I'm not going to take it all the way out, but I am going to cleanse the area again. I'm gonna do the same thing to the uh, drain side also. All right guys, so I didn't disappoint this time. I have some thread sealing, so I'm ready. We'll use that to seal up the uh, fill plug and the drain plug. guys right there this way you can still be in the action Ugh. yeah I should have cleaned this one definitely does have some yucky stuff in it Let's see if I can flush it out yeah I got my screwdriver
flush that again. Let's get ready to receive some fluid. Let me move some of the stuff out the way. Keep my shop light close by so you guys can still have some light. Right, I'm gonna back you guys up just a little bit here. Cause things might get messy. Whew. I'm hoping that this doesn't go everywhere when I crack this thing loose. And I have to keep my bucket in front of your view there, unfortunately. And there comes my fluid. So it looks like my R50's transfer case was filled with API GL4. I did consult the owner's manual and it states that automatic transmission fluid can be used. Uh, Dexron 3 and GL4 is also acceptable as well. Here's our magnet. Not too bad, huh? I mean, it still looks pretty healthy in there. All right, guys, we're going to take our rag here and we're going to wipe the uh, magnet clean. That's pretty much all the uh, metal. Really surprised that there isn't more. nice and clean. We're going to put some of this uh, thread sealant on it now. And again, you don't want to get too carried away with this stuff. You just need a little, not much. That should do her. I'm going to go ahead and get this back onto the truck. So we got our drain bolt reinserted and tightened down. And again, we did apply a light a layer of thread sealant. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our fill holes in here and um, hopefully not make too big a mess. Got our cardboard and stuff. One of those huge heavy duty uh, moving boxes from Home Depot. So if any spillage occurs, this should uh, keep most of it, if not all, off of our garage floor, hopefully. Okay, now that we've found a hole, stick that in there. So we're gonna go ahead and start pumping. All right, and we are now seeing a steady stream of uh, fluid leaking there, and this is indicative of a full transfer case. 
So we'll go ahead and extract our holes here. We'll let that little residual continue to run off there. And um, in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get our fill plug ready. And that's it. Now we'll just have to simply reattach our skid plate and the rest is history. Guys, as you can see, our skid plate is back on and uh, we're all set. Thanks again for stopping by the Camp of Dan Files. My name is Chris. If you've enjoyed today's video, and more importantly, if you found it helpful, go ahead and smash that like button for me. And while you're at it, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep using your Pathfinder as a Pathfinder, on or off the pavement.